Hello, in this problem we're going to solve this rational equation solution. The goal here is to find the value of x, and we have x over here, an x over here, and an x over here. So the big problem is that we have this fraction, so let's start by getting rid of that. We can do that by simply multiplying both sides by 6x. So we have 6x times x, and that's equal to 6x times, here we have 6 minus 5x over 6x. This is really 6x over 1, so these do cancel. Here we get 6x times x, so that's 6x squared. That's equal to 6 minus 5x. So now we have a quadratic equation, and so whenever you have a quadratic equation like this, in order to solve it, what you want to do is get all of your x's on one side, everything on one side, and set it equal to zero. So I'll do it in steps. We'll start by adding 5x to both sides. So we have 6x squared plus 5x, and that's equal to 6. Okay, almost there. Now we'll subtract 6, subtract 6. So we have 6x squared plus 5x minus 6, and that's equal to 0. And so now we have to try to factor this. So we have two approaches we can really take. We can use guessing, or we can use something called uh, the AC method. Let's use the AC method. The AC method says that you multiply these two numbers. So 6 times negative 6, that's equal to negative 36. And then we need the following. We need two numbers. That. First condition is that they multiply to negative 36. So multiply to negative 36. And the second condition is that they add to the middle number here, which is 5. And this is always the, pro the process here. So we need two numbers that multiply to this number here and add to 5. Let's think about what uh, multiplies uh, to negative 36. So 6 and negative 6, that's not going to work though. Um, 3 and 12, that's not going to work. 6 and negative 6, that's not going to work. Um, what else? Oh, 4 and 9, that should work. And if we make the 4 negative, when we add them, we'll get a positive 5. So now what we do is we write down our problem again, 6x squared. And then you basically, you break this up, okay? You break this up and you use these numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I guess I'll put the 4 first. So this is minus 4x plus 9x minus 6 equals 0. So you see, all we've done is we've taken this 5x and we've broken it up into negative 4x plus 9x. Now we just pull out a common factor from here. So it looks like we can pull out a 2x and this will leave us with 3x, right? 2x times 3x is 6x squared minus 2. Right, because 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Here we can pull out a 3. And again, this will leave us with, let's see, 3 times what is 9x? 3x. 3 times what is negative 6? Negative 2. Beautiful. Okay, really cool. And now we can factor by grouping. We take this. And in the front we'll get 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3, and then here we have 3x minus 2, and that's equal to 0. And you can check, 3x minus 2 times 3 is 3x minus 2 times 3. 3x minus 2 times 2x is right here. Because we have a product and it's equal to 0, we can now set each factor equal to 0. So 2x plus 3 equals 0, or 3x minus 2 equals 0. We can solve this first equation pretty easily. We'll subtract 3, subtract 3. 
we get 2x equals negative 3. And we can divide by 2, divide by 2. Get x equals negative 3 over 2. That's one answer. And then over here, we can add 2, add 2. We get 3x equals 2. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Get x equals 2 over 3. It looked like a really simple problem at the beginning, but it was a lot more involved, and sometimes that happens, right? It looked like an innocent problem. Start off by getting rid of the fraction by multiplying by 6x. You end up with a quadratic equation. Whenever you have a quadratic equation, you want to set it equal to 0 and try to solve. We could have solved this multiple ways, actually. We could have used the quadratic formula. We could have completed the square. We chose to use factoring. In order to factor this, um, you can use guessing, which I wanted to avoid, or you can use the AC method. That basically means you multiply this number by this one, and then you need two numbers that multiply to this and add to 5. After some thought, we discovered that it would be negative 4 and 9. Then you take the 5x and you break it up using those numbers. Then you use factor by grouping, and then you're done. Good luck.